wonderful. Everything's fine, guys. Good. <laughs> Feels like heaven. <laughs> I see my parents. They look happy. <laughs> they have presents for me, I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. <laughs> that moment, that's for timing. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. Frank, you're not supposed to call me out like that. Come on. <laughs> We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. <laughs> It's Friday. My parents are going out. I don't remember at all what happens in this game. Besides, she goes to like a mental institute or an orphanage or something. She's having fun with the aunt. It's Monday night and I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. Did your parents not come back on Friday? <laughs> but something f feels bad. Hello. I've never seen this game. A strange creature is outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom. Screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Mommy? Daddy? <laughs> I don't think they're alive, kid. I don't think they're alive. <laughs> I think they're dead. Well, your whole house is bleeding now. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are dead. Strange creature murdered them in the middle of the night. On a Monday night. And our only friend is Mr. Midnight. A black cat. Someone picked us up. Friend, please. Follow my voice. On the count of three, you'll wake up. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Fran, how do you feel? Oh, do we, do I get a use this? I'm fine again. No, it's not. It's my computer mouse thing. Okay. Fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everyone has within. I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. Hi, Pan. I need my cat. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Your cat's missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now, I have something for you, friend. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's purse. Open it, there's something inside. Dearest Fran, here's the pur purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I'm thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Yep, spooky game. We were going to play, um, little hope 
But my computer was chugging so bad. We all were like, nah, not working. We're gonna go play Frambo instead, because that was my other option. <laughs> so. I don't, I can't remember, um, Danny, what happened. We'll find out together. Last time I saw this game was about three years ago, I want to say. Maybe sooner than that. I think Markiplier, I think, was watching it, and that was who I watched play it. But I don't remember literally anything besides I liked it was a fun, cool game. And then I put it in my wish list, never got around to getting it. And then I decided I wanted to play a kind of spooky game. So, we're, we're playing it now. But I can't remember, like, any of the plot points anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think Lex played this too, but I don't remember. I might have seen her play it as well. But, yeah, I don't remember literally. I know she's done makeup looks from this game. And she may have streamed it. I just literally can't remember anymore. Literally what happens in this game. So, we'll all find out together. I was gonna guess the cat did it. Mr. Midnight. No, Mr. Midnight was with us. Anyways, uh, so I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it... Basically, we said our purse. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't you worry her. She's fine. Can I leave now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called... Duotine. And it will make you feel very relaxed. <laughs> Hi, Greenstone! Anything new today, Doctor? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. I don't feel good. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> No, no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. <laughs> I remember when they used to do that to me. Sorry. <coughs> Beware, Franbo. <laughs> if you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. <laughs> catch you and bring you back to insanity Mr. Midnight Fran wake up the medicine will help you escape I'll be waiting for you in the forest I love you meow <laughs> Chapter one, my sober day. <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Mr. Midnight is our only friend. Yep. Wakey wakey. I'm still here. Hideous place. I want to cuddle my cats now. I'd cuddle Pixie, but she's she's gone. She's at my mom's house, I should clarify. <laughs> Having a sleepover. <laughs> Had to get out of here. Come on, upsy daisy. Okay. Oh yeah, this game's all like point and click, isn't it? The painting though. Oh, su sweet, sweet melody. I'll get your nose. I will get it. Alright, Fran, she's 10 years old. Patient was found near the asylum, showing sign of psychosis. Uh, the family tragedy that details omitted. Uh, has tried to figure out medication. All have been canceled because of side effects. Psycho what? I'm not that for sure. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. 
I have to find Mr. Moon Knight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He won't tell me that the medicine would show me where he is. My legs are just fine. Oh, I know. I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Hello, Fran. Good to see you're awake. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. What is the medication that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medication. That's why you're not taking it again. All right. Hello, Phil. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Everyone says that I'm sick. They are just stupid. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I know the doctor wrote write a secret. I saw the, the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Hi. All the doors are closed. You're my prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone, I hate you. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Oh, a secret box. Little box, it's open. Alright, we found a key. I hope somebody loves you. Hello, Mr. Horse. How are you doing today? I used to have a blue dress like yours. Alright, Fillmore Bronstone. He is eight years old. He is a patient here along with his mother. With, he came with his mother. His mother dropped him off. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia is not yet diagnosed. He's in treatment with the doctor. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Alright, so the kid's paranoid. All right, that's not our way out. Oh, uh, I wonder if that's the key then. Yes, okay. I think that's mom, dad, aunt, Mr. Midnight, and us. She arrives with her life. She misses them very, very much. I'll find my kitty and they'll go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Not yet. Um... Let's go pick the lock. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Okay. We need another piece somewhere. Okay. Uh, let's combine this with 
Nope. Okay. A zone combined. But could I use that in there? No. Bottles, nothing useful. Towels, no. That's not creepy. Oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. something. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. <laughs> Accidentally, I'll have to fix this. Follow me. Okay. because I got her away from the thing I could talk to her. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook? Seen nothing. No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go find something. Okay. Okay, she's left. So maybe there's Something we can use. She's looking up. Something about traumas. Something we care about. Patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes back to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Same. Some kids have come around and asked about her, and when they could see her come to play. 8H. Really, I understood the whole thing. Okay. Why does the nurse have a gun? Oh yeah, she's not gonna notice the whole fact that we... Okay. Uh, combine with this? No. Okay. Salmon. My pills are inside. I just have to crack the code. Use. No. Okay. Her dress looks like a straight jacket. <laughs> okay. Fist, but there are two holes. Okay, I need to. Hair clip. Yes. Yes. to do? I think it just won't work. Can't be done. Yes. Okay. 
Hmm, if it works. Negative. What am I missing? So here's where it said this. Oh wait, uh... Eight, nine, four, five. I got the pills. <laughs> there is more in there. <laughs> All right, we got the pills, guys. Big brain. You can see to happiness. You can see. It was not me. Who did this? No, absolutely not. You cannot tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep her away from me. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. It's like an endless supply of pills. Hi. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. So as I have been secretly watching the whole time for the shadow, what is this? <laughs> We're playing Fran Bow. Um, a girl's in the mental institution after both of her parents died. She ran into the woods with her cat. Watch your step. Hello, Miss Nurse. <laughs> Wait. Knitting needle! That works. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. The king likes drawings. Hey, right, you should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. Then how did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go into your room and wait for the doctor. Ugh, I have no time for this. I had to find my way out. Did you break out from your room? That's not very nice, Fran. I haven't eaten in days. I am hungry, sir. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Let me go eat something. Please, doctor. <laughs> Let me go eat something. You have to learn to listen to those in charge. Lesson learned. Now can I eat? <laughs> Why is there two way mirror to the bathroom? They don't trust the patients. Go eat, then go back to bed. Okay. Hello. 
Hello. Did you see? You see them? You see them? What? <laughs> see what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? Uh huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me, please. You like to draw. I love to draw. I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to f find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. Helpful. What is it? <laughs> My dreams. Now go away. The bed is very pink. What's she suffering from? All right. Adelina, she's seven. She's a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. It has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She's making progress. How does room with drugs? You can see. Why do you look like a fabric doll? You should blame yourself. Be quiet. Oh, it's the clown from the painting. Um, are there shadows? There traumas? Because, um, I don't want to look at that. Catching up on chat. <laughs> Alright, there's the yellow door. I'm sure I can give you two. You'll give me the key. Really? Really? I think that may be a good guess, May. I think so. <laughs> we should stay away from the drugs that make us see terrifying things. Die with a pineapple. <laughs> She's ten, though. That other girl was seven. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Hello, are you alright? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I wanted... Just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut off your head if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? <laughs> He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Isabel? Hello, what are you doing? Doesn't work. The paper is not working. <laughs> I think I'm not the right essay. Yeah, totally fine, Lex. <laughs> That's a cool floor, though. <laughs> What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. What does the paper? This game is very wholesome. Mm hmm. What does the paper do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Please don't be powerful. Change the channel, please. We're losing the waves. Change the channel. How about the news?
Still not right. Nature! It works, it works, a miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great. Can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. I suppose I can use it. Thank you very much. Drugs. <laughs> he lost his head. I care while you're dying of hunger and thirst. Wake up! The black shadow is touching you! I literally think those are their traumas! He said I could take the paper, right? Sash. Okay. What drug show me here? Lovely. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Could you please kill me, please? I have to go. Touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I am your king. I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. Drugs. I don't see know. Hi, Annie. How are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magical tricks and they, you make me sleepy. I didn't know you could. Magical tricks? Show me! Show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I am not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Yeah, the magical stuff that will make you fall, anyone fall asleep. That's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here is a gift. Take it slowly. How does it work? I have no idea. <laughs> Chocolates. Lemon, cinnamon bun, not that thirsty, I wonder if the pasta was cooked today, not by the look of it, hello, oh hello friend, how are you today, fine, glad to hear you're fine, carry on, alright, 
I don't think we should admit that, um, we're seeing things. Hi, Emma. I don't want to know what happened to that little boy. Feels the chilly breeze of sadness through this vet. Go on down there. Okay. How are you? I see dead animals. When I'm not supposed to be seeing anything? <laughs> not gonna admit to that. Okay, maybe somehow... Reach the key. Need to get the stuff. Oh, thank you for the baby ship. Okay, it's very locked. Okay. I think she needed paper. My, my crayons. Can I have it? Just the green crayon. No, I won't be able to draw the green then. This is ridiculous, but you have so many. Oh, they're colors. Yes, many colors, but you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up and, and when I want to draw, I can't. Me too, sometimes. It hurts. Oh, it's my cr No, I will not share. Go away. Uh, when I can't try, I hurt myself. Then it, c then comes the red milk. Look. A uh, little hope wasn't working. I tried it. It was ridiculously horrible. <laughs> Um, we were listening to the audio, and then, like, a whole minute or two would pass before the actor's mouth started moving, and then I tried, to, um, just even just doing a simple, like, just pick, like, two options for dialogue, and I hit the button, like, ten times before it finally went through that I had made a choice. So it was just a bad idea, that's what we're doing for instead, because my computer can stand streaming it. <laughs> Way better. All right, uh, yes, please carry me. Yes, and stop the red bell. Okay. So she needs, there was very little hope in little hope, yes. Okay, so we have to, with you, with you, no. Make the boo-boos go away. I don't even know what Little Hope is about. I just know it's popular. Mom. It's um uh, another game in the universe of Until Dawn and Man of Medan. All I know is witches, I think. What Joker? What Joker? Alright, we got a crayon. Okay. We got our drawing for the king. Joker! <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to Goose Monkey, Rachel, Zara, Katie, and Trixie Rookie. I appreciate Joker. <laughs> oh, wait. I wasn't going to come in the bathroom. I wanted to go down here. Zura, <laughs> not Zara, Zura. I, I can I can pay attention to the game and read chat at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> definitely didn't say the wrong thing. Oops. <laughs> Let's go talk to the king. King. I have your 
Your castle and horsies. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamed of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Alright, we took the cane from the crippled kid. <laughs> Alright, she gives the pill, but we don't want to do the pill. Sean's <laughs> too old. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, we got our hook. Stephen is about to be 18. <sighs> I will get it back. Do we want, I'll never leave this chair, okay. Magical cake. Wasn't that what that one little girl wanted? It is bone cracking here. Wait, where'd the little girl go? Wasn't she the one that wanted the magical cake? Yeah, the guard. I brought this cake for you. Not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Make your life sweeter. <laughs> I don't care about my life sweeter. Now leave. You don't want it? No, now leave me alone. Must be the little girl then that we're giving the drugged cake to. I just have to find her. Where is she? But the new Silverian hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he'll catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, can you do me a favor? Sure, anything, but bring the coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do anything but take care of the children. I have other things to do by myself. Sorry. Hot, hot coffee, sir. <laughs> Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Now I have to go and change. God, it's burning like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little shit. He's not happy at all. No. Testing day. Every day is testing day. I'm not commenting. 
done that. Uh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? All right. Um, oh, alarm code. Perfect. Let's just see. Anything in the room that you need to know about? Oh, I am dead in here. Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? January, December 17th, January 25th. The wind hole. Guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. That's a lot of gore. Oh, that rat is really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. I guess I keep going and going. Um. I'm negative 12. Oh dear. Where am I? I guess I had to find out. I'm up. Some cleaning supplies. I think when I'm like high. Just some severed heads. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I have a key. If you struggle, I will know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll be together again, I promise. I miss you, my dear, I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Okay, Halo. The end of the maze, Fran. I fainted again. I wonder that is. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I'll find Mr. Midnight. Patient. Robert Clark's psychosurgery procedure lobotomy. Failed in a anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching for a lobe. The procedure was canceled and incompleted. Lord, are they just lobotomizing all the children here? Oh, so I did go all the way around. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Frambro? No, I haven't seen her. What, the key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to have a key in there. Calm down, the key is not here. Sure. I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must 
calm down. Yes, I'll bring her, bring it to you if I find it. All right, bye. All right, drugs. At the end of the maze. Can't remember Aunt Grace's number. Kind of has no key. There we go. I hope the nurse sees the key. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take that back. All right. December 17th, January 25. At the end of the maze. I feel like that one video I posted on. Palm subscribe. Okay, um, December. So 12... No. I feel like this is J1. Unless it's 12 plus 17? 29. 32. Yes, it was adding them together. Okay. Don't notice me. Don't worry about me at all. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> you little bitch, I'll make you pay for what you did. <laughs> you clever little girl. Do you think you could just leave? What? It can't be, no. They <laughs> deserve that. Mr. Midnight! Frank, get up. Get up. Must follow cat. Come on. Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> what? We're following the cat. the cat I lost my guide cat I did it <laughs> I found a way out <laughs> at the end of the maze you will find hashtag the breakfast thing you get McDonald's <laughs> evil creatures of the night They will hunt you, they will laugh. But there will always be a good side. Cat? A cat full of nuts and bolts. I think I just want my real cat. will <laughs> always be your guide. Why'd you leave behind your family photo? I hope the guards don't find the sewers. Okay. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Looks like a door. Yeah, I pounded that big flurry. Pound amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, tree. K 
Curiosity is damn, damn you curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious, otherwise you'll never learn things. What are you? You are kind of curious yourself. What is the right question? But why would be more appropriate? I want, I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours. And it's not yours for sure. Good to have an extra, it's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. You wouldn't be, we couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. I'm Fran. You are very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Fran, please meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I had a, I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I had to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now, please give me the key. Look, person, Fran. We come from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key, and all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So you are also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb. A comb to, to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Alright, do that then. There's a problem. You filthy thief took the comb. We are now stuck here forever. If you find the thief in the comb, we will get ha you will have the key. Deal? What does the thief look like? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissistic rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I will try my best. We will be here, waiting. Alright, enough drugs. Hides behind Emma from Americans. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ant. Who's there? Are you real? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? Ugh. You always ask the same thing. Always. What do you mean? I always. Of course, I'm real. Where do you come from? Ice. Oh, I escaped the mental hospital. But please don't tell anybody. I won't tell. Don't worry. What are you doing here? My cat is out here somewhere, and I have to find him. A cat, you say? A black... Yes, sir. A black cat with very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see him. Sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens to be that that cat is eaten, chewed, and swallowed. What do you mean? The black cat that came toward me in a hurry. I catch it and I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig always had had any food in the day. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see Mr. Midnight is the only one I have? Please tell me you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I'll sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do, yes. I am the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Should I do something? Like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He's my only friend I have left. But I need the meat. I am curious to know if my kitty is still in there. Do it. Kill the beetle pig and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. <laughs> I'm gonna start spelling without the U now. <laughs> I remember the. Why, why am I killing a pig thing? Oh. Am I, am I really killing this thing? <laughs> we'll spell things, but we'll try to understand. For, in Europe, 
They add use to everything. Why? Because they think that it's so classy to add use to everything. And they pronounce aluminum weird. <laughs> and they call foot they call soccer football. And our football they call associated football or hand pig. <laughs> Just say all the things to piss off. <laughs> Do I really have to kill this beetle pig? <laughs> what, Steven? I have to kill a beetle pig. I don't want to do this beetle pig. Mr. Pig! I guess I understand better. Leave it alone. I can't. I literally can't move forward in the game, Steven, unless I kill the beetle pig. <laughs> I have to ignore your leave it alone. I have to kill it. <laughs> Me with drugs. No, drugs won't help me. If I don't No. Tickle tickle. Ah, the throne is great. Great, wake up. Sir, I think that Beetle Pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh I see. But <laughs> that is completely normal, isn't it? What should I do then? Yet to give him the special berries, the blueberries. There are no berries in the woods. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. I have the blueberries. The house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. No, it doesn't want to be killed. Drugs. Just checked and the answer is yes. I see. All right, I need something else for the door. Oh wait, this way. This is the direction. Hi, Mr. Midnight. Look, Fran, I'm in danger. Ah, oh, this is a really big anthill. This must be the ant's house. Seems to open, but it's very stuck. Oh no, I broke the door.
perfect, but the handle won't stay on. Okay, I need something else for the handle then. Oh, perfect. Blue. Thank you for the host, Mav. Alright, we got a door. Wow, you are very rare. Are you like, angry? Oh. Ow, that hurts. Use this. Use the blue race. Something. That will let me get... Drugs? Not taking that bag, not for the ants. You had to get rid of them. Axe. No, um. Okay. Meat. For those who hunger. Use that on ants. Okay. Examine. Anti-bug sign. Hmm, the bag is open. Examine. Extermination. The text is almost gone. Are we seeing real life with these with these drugs? I don't know. I feel like we might be. that on him. I got you, sir. I'm really sorry, but I need the berries. Excuse me, ma'am. I need the berries. I'm not on drugs right now. Why am I seeing her without the drugs? <gasps> Sorry, beetle pig. <laughs> That's a rat. That's a thief! You're not my cat. Also, why did you change fires? Oh, miss, you saved me from my pincery. Good for you, but I was hoping to find somebody else. I assume that you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big eyes was trying to chase me. Really? You seem to have a great get into a great deal of trouble. Wait, maybe he's my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Where did you last see him? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looks like the earth swallowed them. 
If there's something else I can do for you, please just let me know. I'll have a look around. Drugs. Drugs. The door is locked. Why are you close? I need you. I command you open. I'm your creator. Guess the girl wants to have to get the key. Okay. Is he drugs? Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it? Please? Alright then. But can you please comb my hair first? Sure. I can comb your hair. <laughs> He's very happy. He's got a haircut. He got his hair brushed. Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. Alright. Those are some nifty drugs. Where did you get them? I got them at the, the insane asylum. Here's your beautiful comb, misters. Oh, you, Fran the person, you finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Kind of all went different directions. You didn't all go south. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, Mr. Shine Shiny Masters. Have a nice trip. All right, we got a key. All right. Key for the door. It worked. Woohoo. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight. Mr. Midnight. <laughs> That's right, but I don't know why it's, it's not a weird. We have a cat head on us. Oh my goodness, where am I? What? What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head! Kitty! Wait just a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Welcome home, beautiful kitty. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Kara and Mia. This is Lil Hop was laggy. Yeah, Lil Hop was really laggy. Like, we were all gonna lose our mind, it was that laggy. Give me the knife. Okay, baking powder. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. Drugs. Need to make a bridge. Okay. So you find something for a bridge. Then for that. Salt. Pepper. Some type of seed. Matchbox. What did drugs say? What if 
I use the seed in here. Okay, we got a, a rose. I don't think that's what we wanted. But we have that now. Okay, so it's blue rose. What the drugs say? Oh, okay. So, our, so the only thing we see with the drugs is the well. No matter where we are. Okay. Oh my goodness, the smell! How is this room a well? Everything here is a well. When we're on drugs, we see reality, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Versus all of this isn't real. So if I go drugs... I think that's this. That person that's missing their head. That's this. I think. The stairs end up in a wall. Okay, so that's not real. Let me take a look to see what's inside. Alright, we got some black candles. Some salt and pepper. Are we doing a dark ritual? We got tweezers. Is that a monster? There's so much blood. Mirror, a beautiful reflection. Why is my reflection not there? I don't think this is real, little girl. Just like, why are there a bunch of heads in the corner? I hope they don't hear me. I don't think they're real, honey. think any of this is real. Oh, a ladder. Oh, a uh, light switch. I like my own dress, but those are pretty. Dead rat. Conjoined twins the foxy you found sus tail <laughs> hey, let's save the babies meow I'm here for you. Don't be scared. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Let me see you. Oh Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I miss you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up me. I love you, my friend. I knew I'd find you. I always knew it. I love you so very much. Oh dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear, I will open this cage. I'll get you down to Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? That wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody is helping us get together. Every time I dream about you, I feel the presence of something else. A presence? 
What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Well, whatever it is, it's good, and it brought us together. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I will see what it is. I will try to find the key to unlock you. All right, I love you. Hi. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is right in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would you ever believe? Who would ever believe us? I'm sorry, but I can't make sense of what you're saying. Rambo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want us to know who killed them, right? How do you... Slow down. How is it you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with Mommy and Daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great. I can't see the solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It'll make you feel better. Thank you, but I really need to know. Who told you about these things? Are you scared, little friend? Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm most con mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding me in a cage, hungry and scared. Should it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really want to have him back. He's my best friend. Before you set him free, tell us about what you... How is it you came here? It's a long story. Escape from a place. A very ugly place. They open up heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Bill told me a secret, and I was clever enough to get, find a way out. And then I came to the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug. And it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. And then when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. And they live with Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in the trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods. And now I'm here, looking for Mr. Midnight. That's some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I just wish you'd open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked her name. So not, that's not very polite. You wouldn't want around this house without... You shouldn't want around in the house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly what we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yes, ladies. I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, and she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyways, magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, horrible things can happen. I think Lex did. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Do it yourselves. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we aren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you're like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We had to do a spell to bring him back, but we will do that later when we are not attached to each other anymore and show him that he is powerless and he'll regret it. I'll try my best. Yeah, this game is weird, but it's like cute weird. 
All right, uh, in the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat, but we won't let you set him free. We won't, don't even try to open the cage if you help us. We'll help you help him. Thank you. I'll go talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? You can't imagine what it be to, what can be opened with it. Can you, you silly girl? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I remember bits from watching people play this. I just can't remember what happens. Lost in the darkness, lost in tears. Your bodies become alive through the hand of one angel. We decided to bring that. We need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, a burnt body of a fox. These must be cooked together inside of a pot or a cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. I'm not saying it even. Hi. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, you open the window. Thank you, but who is he? Hi, you. Yes. Who's speaking? It Ward. That's what I thought. I was like, it's, it's It Ward or something like that? I was actually going to say Ichabod. I'm like, I know it's It something. <laughs> I don't think you're making it out of this one. You're in danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place, but they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is a huge magnet. A cat and a magnet, they love us, but do not try to give us love just to use us. Don't trust them. I won't trust them. I promise. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could very be you if you try to do it. She tried, and she did it wrong. What should I do, then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I'd be creative. Hmm, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I don't... I want... really want to get out of here. Okay, um... Well, let's take drugs. So I think I use that bridge that um No, I wanna use it. Yeah, I wanna put this here. No more drugs. Thank you, CBA. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> There's a piece of wood. <laughs> Okay. Bottle. Oh, that burn. Why? There's no fire. I can't touch the bottle. It really burns. Okay. Examine. Blood from the executioner of the ritual, hair from the person that you want to be witch. Revealing the true soul. Okay, the world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through the life and you'll understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and you will never see the truth of fact. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need. Okay. Draw a pentagram with the ashes with the black and white. Right circle. 
Okay, so I just need blood for myself. Sorry, Fran. We need your blood. Okay. We got your blood. The hair from the person you wish to be witch. Okay, there was hair, I think, in the hairbrush. I have not seen a bathroom. In this place. Apparently I'm randomly right. Maybe we get the hair later? Okay, so... We need... Blood, salt, pepper... Use on that. We need our blood in there. We need the rose. Oh, a typewriter, and it works. But there's no paper. Unless, can you use that in there? Uh, uh? Hair from your head, oh, okay. Okay, so then I can tell the girls during the ritual that I need their hair. Okay. Um, disembodied. <laughs> I just need to grab the pot. Oh, there we go. Fran, here are the materials we need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need one more, more time. I can't remember all the words. Yes, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Psh, girl, I think you can help. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. I may need it. No, you don't trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Cool. Uh, use on the girls. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. Look for yourself. It's written down here in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. Okay, now I got the hairs. Okay. I got it. I got it. Hairs in the recipe. What's there left to do? Okay, I can do it here. Use on the ground. All right, we got the ashes. We got the candles. Examine. We need a light. This. Perfect. The potion is ready. Do I have to have this memorized? Okay, nope, I'm not summoning demons. <laughs> also, I'm not gonna fail at pronouncing any of that. Uh, use, girls. Everything is ready, let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. Please sit down and use your eyes, ladies. Close your eyes, okay. Uh, examine, was it? Fill the cauldron with water and put the other things. Pour over the, okay. Potion, use, girls. Now I'll say the words. 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 More words. All the words. Demons. Da da da. Something time. More words. <laughs> ritual, ritual. Reveal yourselves. Da 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 da. 
Wait a second, that is not the right spell. You tricked us. <laughs> Ghost is so drunk. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. Oh my god. I'll say what we call it a day and get out of here. Get our cat and leave. <laughs> I picked a bad time to pop in. We're doing rituals. <laughs> Hi, cat. Let's leave. Wait, Fran? I can't. The key doesn't fit. There must be another keyhole. Oh, yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. But the key is for the mirror. It is. It is. It's the key for the mirror. What's this? A puzzle. I did it! I did it! I did a thing! I found them! <laughs> Sister promise, we, Clara and Mia, promise to avenge the unfair destiny Itwa decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand for this any longer. Though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will change that, but now our bodies attach to each other. We can't complete our task. Strong strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. I look, drugs. But they're yellow. I wonder what the difference. Anything else? Mother must die. Cool. Two skeletons, yeah. Alright, to the attic. Hi, cat. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kit. Kitty, it worked. Come out and let me hug you. Mr. Midnight! We got our cat! We got our cat! <laughs> Yay! Aw, oh, sweet moment. Oh, it feels so good. I'm free, friend. My good friend. Time? You are free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Okay. Creepy cat talking moments begin. What's wrong with Mr. Midnight? Out the window. You 
I did it, sir. Toad, the girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want you to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There is no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I am too teeny. Even though my body is quite moldable. It's not possible for me to carry you to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us, please. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. It worked. It really worked. I'm so big and I feel glorious. Great. Let's go, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. He wants... What are you talking about? He wants to help us. That's all. Alright. If he tries anything, I will scratch him. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. But try not to hurt him while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what type of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Do we do that to every rock? Oh. <laughs> Burger, I forgot. I got to give you something. I saw you in this picture and I thought it was yours. Oh, we got our family photo back. Cool. And this book was with it, too. Thank you very much. I thought I lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Well, I'll take the book as a gift. It's uh, healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. It has pictures. Now let's go. Yes. Hold on tight. Toad on board. <laughs> Paint all the achievements. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Mr. Toad. Thank you, you too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. What should we do now? Find a way back home. It's dawn. It's really scary. Okay. Do my best, my dear. Let's go. Oh, I think I remember this. Afraid of heights. Isn't this what takes us to like the tree people? Or something? Fran, wait. Are they not tree people? <laughs> oh my dear, I can't hold on, hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I got you, Mister Midnight. You dropped us. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> They are. They are as a buy replacement people. Okay. Don't be afraid, Fran. <laughs> we always fall. And after the pain, we always rise. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is so pure. But your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. 
Please, Aunt Grace, why don't you take just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Are we naked? Oh no! Didn't we, don't we become a tree? <laughs> yeah, wasn't there a tree, Fran? Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran? Where are you? These are Fran's stockings. One of Fran's shoes. Fran shoe! Ugh, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Thank you for the babies. Fran, you're a tree. Don't be silly. Please help me up. Wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear. This was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope we. he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree! <laughs> I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Roller. <laughs> Is near drugs, Valky. Hey, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? <laughs> Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Oh, like I was gonna stop it. I'll scratch you. What are you saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hell yeah. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hold on, he's even. Kitty, help me find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. <laughs> you sound like an Animal Crossing character. Good. <laughs> oh. Alright, the gear doesn't stay. Sips is broke. <laughs> Rough. See my friend's purse. Ooh, stone. Oh, ooh, okay, okay. Yes. No, I want to use said stone. So I can walk out and grab the purse. Friend, darling. I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who sacked me my family photo. Maybe he understands what humans is. 
Yes, I as a cat will reach into your bag and grab a photo. How do you need cross the other? That Roma Pascal Rizil. Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. <laughs> Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galatma, Galatma. <laughs> Vegetable state. Oh, we're on chapter three. How many chapters are there? Is this another one after this? Right? Ekarma bal mene kaspa zira ni hulama ona nam. Iharuj itra garshya mele hul fal garshar zaru. Welcome, creature. My name is Zaru. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. <laughs> my friend Ryan told me you showed him an il illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you're one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I am a girl. Oh, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Hmm, let me see. Very good, no doubt about it. A seeker of truth. Very common among the bow family tree. Ah, oh, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. You can see all that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't, doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean, except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never be aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. I feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. You think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I explore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha ha ha, you're very hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of... Itarista. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're very pretty. King, sir, please. Will you help me? Why is it that you need to go home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I am. I feel very. Ugh. I feel confused most of the time, and I want to be somewhere where I feel at home, sir. I see you are very brave. I just want to go home. Please, please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home. But it is your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is the door, sir? I'll talk about that later. First things first. We must be able to get. You must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be great. I'm afraid you won't be able to bring... I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. We'll talk more about him after the procedure. He must first understand our language. But how will I understand your language? Eat this fruit. Did 
Did he just basically spit in our mouth? Ew. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. So that means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. You sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. The, our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything on your own world very soon, no doubt about it. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now is the time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. What are you ta Where are you taking me? What are you doing? Going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Okay. <laughs> oh, sunlight. Right, she's a tree. Hello. Good day, my name is Parathus. I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you in the emergency case? Wow, amazing, what a beautiful fluffy thing. Is that an axolotl? That looks like an axolotl. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand all of this. If all of that is real. This is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. <laughs> Not Kip. Bloop. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Valakas created it. It was the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Who is the great Valakas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, and he was all alone. He came to a Teresa, and his blood was made this water pink. That is why it is so pure. It is a very long story. Well, it sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And... How is it you came here? What brought you to... A Teresa? Am I saying that right? <laughs> Me and my kitty and I we just want to go home. So I saw you see him and hug him again, and then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would you like to s Who would like to see you dead? That sounds horrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a catalyst. But it's dangerous that you... To have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself, but Palestra, sir, how? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you're doing. I see. Well, when you travel to Etheritha, you open a door between your reality and ours, and with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality, and if that happens, the balance will be tainted. There's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. I can't let see this happening again. I just can't. 
Don't be sad, doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. You don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Mm-hmm. Yes, doctor. I just changed something real quick. Uh, yeah, wholesome game. Very wholesome. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran from Etherosoft? Please be tree arms and legs, not human arms and legs. Pretty, please. <laughs> well, I feel beautiful, like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we'd fix it. The water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? You think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean? Fix them. What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. You're so fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern, and he was an evil old man. Old man. Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Here we are again. Shows Earth the King what a nice Ithra Stanzies you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You'll have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. You fluffy kitty. Oh, you like that. Ha ha ha. Here I am. Friend, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great threat Sanian sees you've become. Thank you, sir, King Sir. The doctor was incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Prometheus will be fine. You, he, I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve. There's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about the great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who can bring you back your human body and he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home where's the wizard what stones land is full of things i don't understand ha ha you haven't got outside the castle and you already want to know everything that's the passion i was talking about have patience fran the great wizard lives in the great mountain Corthrim. but we haven't seen him for a while now find him and everything will be just fine why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare a potion. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you say? You'll have to ask around, follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great authority of the day and find a and good luck finding the great dragon. Dragon. Wizard. Whatever. Wow, you see the huge fluffy creature, kitty? That's Prince Pelethros. He helped me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake. Next to your clothes. Hmm. Well, we have other things to do now anyways. Alright, uh, we gotta find the wizard and a mountain. Let's go. Oh, my little hand is a thing. No, no, no. You can't get in. It's closed. 
Sorry if I wanted to see what was behind the passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in the fall or the winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you talk the talking tree that helped? Yes, that is me. I was given arms legs, but also a head. And that's very positive. Hehe, <laughs> yes. But why is it close? Uh, the sun goes around the second moon. We open. Okay. Only happens in the fall and winter. Okay, we have to figure out how to change seasons then. Well, that's a bit scary. Hello, sir. <laughs> like how the cat just opened the corner, like licking himself. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just gonna sit over here in these honeycombs and just lick everything. <laughs> what are you doing? Just standing here, you see. Oh, I see. Do you know how to get to the mountain? Yes. Cat is a mood. Yeah, cat's a mood. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm, the mountain form is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm, of course, winter time. What did you think? I see. Okay. So we need winter for the mountain, fall and winter for the library. Okay, so tree thingy. I think that's where we are. Or, no, we're here. So if we go that way to get to the tree, that's where the mountain is. That's Pranthea's. I don't know what those are. Okay. Um, this way? Okay. Tree. It's a very old clock. Where are the numbers? No, no, I didn't want to do that. Stay up there. Okay. Sounds like something is broke. Okay, so we gotta find the thing that fixes that. Uh, I'm always not finding the truth. We are born and fed from fear and the uncontrollable illness of the human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs the very, every living cell of the body, the end. I believe water may purify them. The metaphorphosis was, was painful to watch. After a terrible scream, they calmed down a bit on the ground to cry. A bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Thank you for the suffering. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. Time is the rhythm of your perception. He thinks I'm insane. We wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Bacteria may work as platelets. Okay, so he came. The other thing came here too. Wait, uh, go back. Okay, so this is our alphabet. It's Satan's diary. <laughs> I can't get to sleep. I fixed. How's it going? The end of life.
Well, my, wait, did it? Which one? Oh, it is! We found it! <laughs> so that one is me. <laughs> okay, there's a section missing here. Like an antenna. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Okay, so this is the boat bridge thing. Yeah. That equals May, apparently. Oh, person. Uh, hello. Good day, leaving creature. All good? I'm so sleepy, but I've had five monsters. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower of beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? Mm, they're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers of the bar, you know? They put some other stuff in it too so we can fly. Sounds great. <laughs> Get some sleep. Are you finally able to? Yeah. Good vibes. Can't rush it. Uh, the bar opens in the fall. Okay. Seems like everything is waiting for the fall. Let's say something important. Shows a mountain a mountain the mountain must be caught on The fairies in my book. Here's the feelings, the light of material. We are the Volocos. Oh, you're very shiny. You make me so happy. So, so very happy. Let's receive the shield. Social sun, creature from the soil, hurt from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you going? You can tear a path to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. The magical thing, you magic yourself. We are light, we are everywhere. Why answers you seek? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You're too fragile to face the truth now and too strong to let it go. Don't be sad. We have to keep going. Okay. You're right. Something forearms. No. Alright, I feel like we need something else for that. Okay. Okay, so this... Alright, so what we need... He's here in the winter. Nothing here but trees and flowers. Okay. So he needs fall. That was the lake. Can we f fix this? Hi. Is 
Something will fix that. Bloody knife. No. Maybe yeah, this way. Then I'll mark it. Hello. Who is there? Can't you see me? I'm saying. Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. What are you selling? Only the very best pulpers of the land. Do you want to smell it? Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I never thought it... I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Hee <laughs> hee. I have to go now. Good luck with your poop. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I am Pooter. I am holding this piece of iron. For what? I have to deliver a few copies to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. To make all types of metallic stuff? Sure, if you have ideas, we can talk about them and kabam! I'll do it. It's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Greetings. Are you interested in some of that? What would I use it for? Where is naked? It's good for other things. Okay. Looks like we have to know what we want. Clock worker. Okay. Hello, what are you doing? Working on my clock. What are you doing? I'm looking for the wizard. I do clocks, I fix clocks. Why is this no minute? Or is that? Can't wait for winter. You don't need to wait for that. That's absurd. Time is... What should I do? After the clock, I'm just to change it. Where's the clock? I'm gonna go left. You'll see Sarah's big clock on the tree. Good luck. I saw a clock. It was broken. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. Uh, I never fixed a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's been... What do you mean? I changed one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know? I don't have any coin. Hmm, then no clock will be fixed. Nothing to know. Okay. We get coin somehow. Alright, news. Can't read. Are you sure? Yes, I am. My news friend. Okay. Ooh! You! Slug! Hello! What are you doing? The war is about to start. I don't... Can't see meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be worth one gold coin if you come back alive. Join you, join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas, I am the Volkos. Black and white, a shadow is in light. It's a board game. Yes, a board game. Let's immense an adventure. What do you say? What are the rules? First, place three of the same f figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Tic tac toe? Sure. Gold is gold. Okay, we said to win Tech Act House. Okay, he goes first. I go next. Oh, god damn it.
I win. You win. I have a coin. You're all done. You are the master. Coin. Perfect. Use on the clock maker. Here's your gold coin. The fixing cup. Can you fix it? Oh yes, you have to ask for the job first. Help. I ask you to be the clock repairman in return for this gold. What? That had no passion. I would fall asleep. So I'm very tired. I've been through some really bad times. Would you like to talk about it? We could talk someday, maybe. Oh, I don't like to see that on face. I'll go fix the clock. Thank you, sir. He's got, like, spider legs. That cat is a mood. Itchy ear. Itchy ear. Ear itches. There we go. This place is so nice and wholesome. Just waiting on a clock. Waiting on a clock. Do I interrupt him? Do I let him go? You're right, the clock is broken. Can you fix it? Of course, just a second. Yes, hmm. There we go. <laughs> what is it? it? Seems that someone was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock. Ugh. That's us break it. Kamala's winters, stones, berries, and this. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamala's, the dark evil. They work for Rimmo, the terrible black. The Kamala's are the only ones allowed into this land, the only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me the realm would want the stones. I, I don't understand is for what purpose the stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. Okay, Mav. The stones are in winter time. Don't matter. Yes, you know him. Yes. Oh, human. I understand. I need the stones to get home. This is why you need to go to winter. Go to that. Okay. Yep. 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 Well, it's fixed now. Do something. Make it easy. Okay. Remote control for the clock. You'll be able to travel to all day in just one turn. It's a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. Remember, this is in time is an infinite layer reality, so be careful with it. Thank you. Cogwind. Thank you, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you very soon. Bye. Alright. Sir, can I take one of your lemons? I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I can't let you just take them. I take all the lemons that the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. Okay. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? How do I get one? Okay, I tell you, why don't you have yours? I'm not a citizen. Sir, maybe that's why. A citizen, that's new. New for me, though. Sorry, Lily, I can't let you in. What do I do, then? I'd like to go inside. Never happened before. Hmm, I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you, bye. I don't know. 
Well, it's fall to get into the library. Let's go to the library. Library should be open. So right there, you have to sit, have to have the password. Oh no, what password? The password. Oh God. Who knows the password? Yes, the great wizard, of course. He knows everything. All right then, straight to winter. Password is password. <laughs> Must be password. You're right. You're very, very right. Password must be password. Okay, so we need winter. Whoa! The bar is gone. Okay, great wizard. Hello, wizard! You must be the great wizard, sir. Can we talk? You are, because if you are, we need to talk. Can you talk? Gotta go for now, but see you later. Bye, Matt. Thanks for stopping by. You have so many questions. That's good. The king's... Oh, sorry, sir. The king has told me that you could help me. What the king says, we do. Mm -hmm. I need you to lend me the stones to open the door to my gate. The stones are missing. I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. They, you mean the Black Shadow, sure? I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did. A rabbit came from an empty hat. How? That's the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again how. Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? That means me, just so you know. Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones, ah, oh, it's been a long time since somebody came asking for those. It made the most fantastic spell of all time, so no one could find them. You know, the black shadows, the Kamalas, they try to steal them all the time, so I have to be sure. The king told me the stones would open a door to go home. Hmm, the stones are hiding. The only... I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four, the four riddles that will unlock my memory. And only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find five items. These items are the stones in layered reality. Then the only one who can bring them back is me. Alright, what's the riddles? Let me show you. Star of Ethernia, the greatest guide of the sky, the greatest caretaker of this land. Oh, wow, that sounds great. I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place items in the Star of Ithera on their respective symbol. After that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. 
Well, that's not questionable. Oh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Oh, so the king told me to make me human again. Did he? Hmm, I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember? If I can't go home like a tree... I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you human again after the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out the rules, and I'll guess everything again. Uh, do I need something special? I think the smell is important, if I remember correctly. Give me your clothes, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, I need... No... I need the password. Okay, while well, you're doing that. Questionable picture. I am cold as I... I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I can never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Okay, that's a lemon. I think I just need to cover up that picture. <laughs> Specifically there. Okay. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Light and howl, I'm the pe the freedom of birds and the pen of men. Oh yeah, this is a feather. Feather, lemon, oh, I knew I had that. Um, ice. Flow and flow, scoop with the sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Cold-blooded sun. All right, let's get the other ones. I don't know what that was. We'll go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you promise that whatever happens, you know, I will always be on the same side. Of course, my dear, I promise. Great. Let's keep going. Okay, Steven. I mean, yeah, I need snow. Or I need ice. I need ice. Um. Panthros? Sir? Wait, don't go. Oh no, he looks really bad. What's the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, kitty. He lost one of your feather. Well. We got the first item. Back we go. Okay, um, where did the feather go on this thing? Explain no, you don't need to explain what the thing is. I have one of them right. Right? Light and hollow, I am freedom of the birds and the pen of men. That's feather. That 
is the right spot. Fine, I'll just keep placing it around. You know that was the right spot. I know that's the answer. Don't lie to me. I know that's the answer. Don't lie to me. That is the answer to the riddle. Sir? Sir? Excuse you, sir. Light and howl, that's a feather. I'm the freedom of birds, feathers, and the pet of men. Feather. <laughs> feather there. Feather in right spot. In the boat. Okay. If we go across. It's very teeny. Okay. I don't think I can change the weather from here. But I can get my clothes. Okay, we at least have our clothes, which is what we needed for the wizard. Come on, kitty. Head back across. I think our branding has blood, it's just like here. They had the footprints disappear in the snow. The snow set. Hi! That's not your mommy. That's not your mommy. Don't go closer. No, you're not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and he will get you. He will come and get you! Mommy, you're scaring me. Please stop. Nope, time's breaking out. Alright, let's fall. Uh, wait. If there's something, he will work on it. No. To the dude. To the smith. Look, I'm not... Who, what hospital? I don't know what you're talking about. Can you make me a hook? Give me a coin. If you give me two coin, I'll get you in traffic. The whole thing. The whole thing will cost you three coins. All right, let's go play some tic-tac-toe. My dude, my man. I need some coin. Can't stop me. Okay, that's one. That's what we needed. 
Okay. Here are three gold coins. Wonderful, thank you. Here's your hook. Okay. Combine with this. Need to. Oh, I need. Here. Not your service. It would be a shame if someone wrecked the basket. Kitty, I'm going to do something. Act natural. Oh no. Kitty, 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 kitty. All right, lemon. Mr. Wizard! Which one is lemon? That one. Okay, lemon. Alright, we got the lemon. Market, get the cloth, show the fishing rod to. Oh, I need to show her the fishing rod, okay. I need to leave first. Okay, so if we go talk to her. With the fishing rod, she'll help us. Okay, you, you. Hello, miss. I'm wondering if you have some thread for a fishing line, do you? Fishing line thread. Yes, yes, I have some. What do you want? Yes, please. How much? Well, it's quite a lot. Is, it, is that good? I meant price-wise. I only need it for fishing. Oh, I forgot about price. You see, I've never sold anything before. But you know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Cat, you're a moon. Wait, yeah. Fish. Stupid. I am so stupid. Alright. As cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I thought was, um, you know, an ice cube. It's a match. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. <laughs> yes. We'll start with the fire. As awakened, Kodarm is alive at the top of the mountain. He'll be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. I have my tools. He uses tools in order to remember. I will bring you back your hat, sir. I was saying, like, you know, you hold, like, 
something cold in your hand and it feels like something's burning. <laughs> Not, you have a match that burns. <laughs> Hi, Stone. Ah, who dares wake me up? Who? I am Fran. Oh my goodness, you are alive. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I am Fran. Fran, I see. I don't know what that means. It's just my name. Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, all right. Mine's Karo. Do you know... What do you want to know? It's okay. We're small brain too. We're sharing one brain cell. <laughs> yeah, I'm still on. Born in heaven. I used to be a star. Because I was born in space, it's very logical. I've never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Fran. So, what brings you here? The wizard sent me to get his hat. Hmm. I can't do that. I'm divorced. <laughs> divorced? What do you mean, divorce? I just need the hat, sir. I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You have to find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please help me. I told you I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off my hat, my maga will erupt and kill everyone, including you. Where's your wife now? Maybe I can get her back. She, she decided that it was time for her to start her own island. She broke up with me. I didn't get a chance to ask her why. <laughs> I miss her so much. I'm so sorry. She's her own island now? Oh, she's on the water. Otherwise, I feel... <laughs> I would feel very strongly feel her presence. But I don't. Oh, my love. My beloved wife. I'll go and see if I can find her, alright? Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you can let it happen. Something else I can put on top of your head? Like a rock or something? No, I like this hat. Alright, I'll be right back. Where has my brain cell? Can I have it? Oh, hi. I know you're all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. Come to my side, and I will... You will have many new friends to play with. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary. I don't like you. Fran, who are you talking to? You know, just the grudge and her five children. <laughs> Alright. As I was saying, uh, whoever is my brain cell, can I have it back? <laughs> to solve puzzles with. I feel like I'm missing my brain cell. Hello, miss. Wake up. I have a message for you. Oh, hello. A messenger. What a good day. A messenger of love. Love. Oh. But you're not pink. I'm brown. Pink? No, I'm brown and green. Love, messenger. Hmm. What does a messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No, he made me very sad. Nobody's right to make me sad. Well, maybe he didn't mean to harm you. What did he do? He was so hot, and I fell in love with that. But lately, he was cold and boring, so I felt left aside, and I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me, to show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time, so I want credit for this. Some credit for that, that's all. But miss, if I find the flower for you, will you come back? I guess. But I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I go and see if I can find this red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's different from all the other flowers. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me and I shall return to him. the weirdest couple therapy I've ever been involved in. Alright, red flower at his bottom. I 
if I talk to him. Sir, your wife wants a flower from your butt. To the flower that I need. you red flower from your husband's butt <laughs> thank you so much you're a very good messenger so you go back to your husband right away I'll see you there in winter time so many questions Let's go get do couples therapy. I brought your wife. Can I have the hat now? Come on, Charlie, climb up on top. Doctor Love. Wonderful achievement. And here's the hat. Thank you very much. I'll give it to the right great wizard. Thank you. Alright, now that we're done with Whatever that was. Wizard! Hat! Here's your hat, sir. My hat! I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? Get from the soil like the fruit. Creation of random events. Incredible. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says that the book, the book of my knowledge, it's in the library, but beware. Okay, good. Wait, the password you need. Let me think. There's something about what we learned. Oh, I remember the password. The password is your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. We're supposed to use common sense. Alright. To the library! <laughs> Do I have any weirdness? Going to the library today, or...? No? Okay. Ah, weirdness. You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. Do as I say. Do as I do, friend. Jump. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear. Don't listen to those evil things. You are strong. Love them out of your head, my dear. Then my crazy kitty tell me. No, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty. I am completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear. I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep going. Let's get to the library. Okay. You have the password. Yes, I do. Alright, what's the password? 
They are the words. It was something like, your eyes and ears only by sensor, shut them down before learning. So we can, then we can see, knowledge is everywhere, even darkness and silence. Do you, you can come inside, having fun. Okay, library. We need to find the book. The book. I guess it's this thing. Oh wait, that rhythm. One. One plus one is two. Two plus one was three. Three, two plus three is One that's three quick maths. <laughs> yeah, well not, that's not what we're doing. We're doing one plus one is two. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. So what's five? This? Then two plus five is seven. Five plus seven. What symbol is that? This? One, two, three. Hey, this thing? And this? Yeah! There we go. That lever crunk. Wrong lever. I think you look bad. <laughs> yes. I need to climb up the books. Oh. There's a thing next door that told me what the numbers were. <laughs> I figured it out without it. I proceed. Something to climb on. Why well, figure it out without that? I use big brain. <laughs> Let me just make her not be here anymore. Book. Huh. Interesting. Alright, we got the book. I want to finish this chapter at least tonight. Though, hi Ty, did you just get the notification too that I was live? Since apparently everyone's now just getting it. <laughs> yes, we're doing fanbo. All right, wizard, your book.
The it word lock. This looks like fun. Thank you for the book. I remember many things. Many, many, many things. There's two things left. Yes, fish in the water. I think it's, it's to remind people that you're alive and does that. Probably. Hi, Ty. Fish, fish, swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go back home. fish yes because I remembered how to do it isn't it beautiful that's magical sir can you do that with other things like humans of course but only if the circumstances are positive and the circumstances are not often not positive I see sir I see hmm. so we need to find the missing stones yes the fish told me that my shoes are on the feet of an amazing dancer I think I know I, I'll go see Never got one before now, though. Hmm. Okay. Our next step. Is getting into the bar. How do I get into the bar? Okay, let's go inside. I don't want to steal. We're just borrowing. All right. Okay. So... Yes, a lovely piano. Inside during autumn, wait for the bee to pass out so you can steal the ticket. Oh, there you go. You're watching it. Okay. Back to France. Okay. We have the ticket. This is like a Star Wars pub. Yeah, kind of. I got the ticket. Okay, so then I need to go... I need to go inside during the ballot to be... Combine the crayon with your stairway to take it. Okay, crayon... Take it! Fran and Kitty can go in party! Look, sir, this is my own ticket. Hmm. So you simply drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever, little lady. Might as well just go right in. Okay. Uh, run spring! Okay. Got my emails and payments. See, upload them. Nice! Okay, so you make this go faster. Perfect! Okay. Go fly. Go fast. Super fast. I'll take your shoes. What? I technically looked that one up, but you know what? <laughs> I have one brain cell today. 
Sir, sir, I have your shoes. They have a very pretty look. Wow, you did it. These are extraordinary machine inside your head. Sir, sir, <laughs> making him tired than robbing him. Technically, they're not his shoes. They're the wizard shoes. Now let's do the last thing so I can go home. The last one. I recognize this feather. It belongs to Pertha. Yes, I saw him very injured. Hmm, you'll be fine. He was... He has the pink water that can fix everything. Yes, that's very true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Hmm, go to the old thing. My wand is there. Where's that? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. It has the wand now. Get the wand, it says. Just get the wand. That's a super easy task. To get the wand. my whole brain cell for it. Here's your wand, sir. Oh, magnificent, splendid, you did it. Really? Where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. These stones are very, very special. What I can do is place them in the locks of the door, but you are the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we must go talk to him, don't you think? Hmm. Wait, I su suspect I can't return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot. You're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done it in hundreds of years. Make you human. Yes. Give me your clothes. I need the smell of it. Here are my clothes, sir. Hmm, this smells... Let me smell a sniff. This can work. We can make a human. Oh, this is exciting. Good. Now, go to the center of the star. Let's make you human! <laughs> Concentrate. Concentrate. Turn the tree into human. Randomly selected elements. Find your path to your true element essence. Become friend, the human now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> huh. Are you alright? Ugh. What happened? Is it done? Oh wow, well, thank you so much, sir. You are a really great wizard. <laughs> That's my name, Great Wizard, because of the greatness. Hmm. I think we have to go to the king now, so you can show me the door. Yes, I I'll be right there. I had to finish something. I'll be there. Go now. <laughs> the fuck was that? I don't know, Stephen. <laughs> but we're normal again. So, to the king? At the end of the tree chapter then? Oh, 
Well, there's no weirdness. The king. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. That's not the real Mr. Midnight. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I am not you. Let Mr. Midnight go now. And kill the traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised he'd be on my side. He promised, as your mommy and daddy did, who promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran. You're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who will always be by your side. Now, let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. It's a good thing that's not Mr. Midnight. Go away, go away, it wasn't me. Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. Sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That's very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to, you to hurt, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very, very much. Fran, I remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, yes, let's do this. Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Oh, right, I had to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. Alright, here we go. Humans must leave open secret door to her reality. Let the human return home. Oh wow. We are really going home, kitty. Whoa, sir, the king. Good day to you. I brought the stone so the lovely creature can go home. Apparently I fell asleep and came back and now you're human again. I missed the entire time of weather puzzles. Yes, CBA. You missed my one brain cell trying to figure out puzzles. <laughs> and it really was one brain cell trying to figure out puzzles. I may have swore at the... <laughs> I think I swore at it at one point. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It would be strange to be far away from all of you. And don't leave. I can make a place for you to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received message from one of the Volcras, and she is not ready. Oh, I see. The one time I could have been useful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ready for what? Oh, come on, wizard. Place the stones. We don't have time to lose. But ready for what? You know. What the Volcras told you about facing your truth. Ah, oh, yes. I remember. Well, should I? Yes. Go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that the human can break. Well, now it's time for Fran to use be the key. You're the only one who can open it now. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Okay. Is there, an, like, a right order to this thing? Book. 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 
fuck. Okay. Oh, um. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> Pentagram. Large pointed hat. <laughs> Candles. <laughs> Did it, friend, you can go home. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You are a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Pythis gave me this to give to you. Cool. I hope he's fine. Uh, but anyways, uh, tell me, it's hey, all better now. Oh, before you go, you must know. Before you go, we're returning to your reality. You should go through the secret woods. The woods are kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter some terrible creatures that want to eat you. Just run. They're quite slow. You're telling me this now? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll do fine. All right. Goodbye. I had a great time. I like you very, very much. Goodbye. Let's try not to get eaten. Okay. I'll get the timing. I'll get it. I'll get the timing. I got this. that one brain cell. I know, I gotta use the one brain cell. <laughs> Look at this. My one brain cell is working. As hard as it can. <laughs> it's, it's trying. It's really trying. <laughs> I can do it, 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 I can do it. I can do this. Just need to run my little legs. You don't have time to sit here, friend. You have giant tree men coming after you. Run your little legs, friend. Run them. Jump. Jump like your life depends on it. You can do this. You got this. Come on, Fran. Come on, Fran. Come on, Fran. You got this. Run your legs. Run them. Run them, Fran. Through the forest. Through the forest. We can do this. 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 We got this. We got this. We got this. Run. Run. Run your little legs. We did it. We ran our little legs. A troll. Run. We did it. We did it. Chapter four. Okay. We did it. Drugs! Guys! Drugs! The drugs are back! Okay, as much as I want to get my drugs, it's almost midnight and I have work in the morning and I have like a bunch of meetings. <laughs> so, 
we'll finish the game in the next stream. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we have just like two or three chapters left. And we've made it through three tonight. So I think we're going to call it there. <laughs>